Hey everybody, happy Friday. There we go. It's Jane from Surface Anthology and of course Chalk Mercantile. And somebody asked me what the difference between the two sites is. And yes, I love to, to really um, complicate things. Surface Anthology is where I have my membership. That's the name of my membership, which is Decorative Painting. Chalk Mercantile is my shop. And Chalk Mercantile, I opened a brick and mortar. God, it's over 10 years ago. So that's where I have all the products and everything. And today's a little show and tell um, that I've been waiting for. I'm really, really excited. So let me get myself set up here. There we go. Um, but I'm really excited about it. I've been waiting. It's a kit. And um, it will be, I couldn't figure out how to change that little message that you guys see who are watching this on Facebook. But you can go to chalkmercantile.com. You could follow the link that's in the comments now and just uh, search up Kit. Hey, Sandy, good Friday afternoon to you. And you're watching over on YouTube. And Sandy, I go on afterwards. I go to YouTube. Hey, Lorena. Um, I go after and I fill out, you know, the description and everything. Some people know how to do that beforehand. I am not one of them. Julie, hey, Julie, have you been able to get on to, um, into your workshop? I haven't checked to see if you're in, you know, you're watching. I can go in and see what everybody's doing in there. And I'm so sorry about that, that kerfuffle with the, Julie's in everybody, Julie's in the Service Anthology membership. And I didn't put our new workshop exactly the way where it was supposed to be. So let me know, Julie. So here are the kits, and they are called the DIY uh, Painted Mushroom Kit. And I absolutely adore these. I'm going to come in a little bit closer because these are just too cute. And what I really love about them is that they're turned mushrooms. They're not the flat kind of laser cut out mushrooms. And they're just super, super cute. So we'll have a little unboxing, right? There's a bright color one, and there is um, an earth color one. These are made, everything's made in the United States, which is super cool too. Um, so let's open this, because it's so cute. Oh, good, Julie, yay! <laughs> And remember, Julie, with that workshop, and I just posted a picture of the piece, um, everybody on my Facebook page, and it's a technique that I did in very, very bright colors, but Julie, if you want, you could do it in beautiful neutrals, whites and grays. You can really make that your own for sure. Okay, so here's our little kit. Look at this. Oh, these are just super cute, and they all stand up. So I'm gonna paint mine and next week I'm gonna paint a kit and you know, use the colors that are in there but then do some more decorative stuff. Maybe add some glitter, right? But look at how cute this is and it's turned, like I said. So, and look, oh my gosh. I'm just absolutely crazy about these and I, just, I can't wait to put, paint them and put them up on a windowsill, but look. How cute are these? <laughs> I'm like, if this, if, if I was a mushroom, this would be my shape. <laughs> and look at these, but they're absolutely adorable. Aren't they adorable, Julie? They're nice and heavy. Um, it comes like this. This makes a really nice gift. So if you've got a, um, a mom or somebody that you wanna give something to for Mother's Day. This is really, really sweet. And this is, these are the bright colors. So we have an orange, a pink, and then this pretty kind of soft lilac. Really nice, and a paintbrush. And I'm gonna tell you guys, um, when you order this, I'm gonna include one of my um, artist brushes with it so that, because I just think that this is a little bit, a little skinny for um, painting these. You might get a little frustrated. So I am going to include um, an artist brush with that. Shannon, Shannon, I'm showing off my new mushroom kits, which I love. I'm so excited. 
And I think actually it's by Bramble Works. And I think they might be out in your neck of the woods, Shannon. I'm not sure. Here's the earth colors, which are really beautiful. So again, it's these turned mushrooms. So that means you could stand these up. You could also, if you wanted to, and I've done this with other shapes, I used to have these beautiful turned ornaments that were made in upstate New York. They don't make them anymore. Everybody's doing the flat laser. And I was just heartbroken. I actually spoke to the guy. And he goes, yeah, we don't make those anymore. And they were, they were really exquisite. But you could take eye hooks and put them right in the middle top and make ornaments out of these. Oh, I wish I still had my um, Merry Makers Ornaments of the Month because I would put this in as one of the kits. But look at how sweet they are. And all of these, you just take a little um, eye hook, put it in, and really cute, cute ornaments. Orange, this is the earth colors. Then we've got like a mustard and a very, very um, orange red. Some people might even call this one an orange also, but I call that an orange red. We can get into, right, I, you know how I feel about names of colors because I think they throw people, right? One person's, you know, cool red is another person's purple or eggplant or whatever. But these are super, super sweet. If you're interested, just go to chalkmercantile.com and, um, and put in kit. I have it in the section that has the workshops and the kits. And of course, I still have gilding. Oh, and I have to post that, that little box that we made on Monday. Oh my God. I know, I found these on a wholesale site, a site for businesses, and um, and you can only buy them wholesale. So I found them, ordered a bunch, because I'm absolutely in love with them, um, so I could sell them as kits. Because I know people love kits, and I know people love mushrooms, and this has got everything, and it would make such a great gift. But I think they're going to be a lot of fun to paint. We'll be doing that next week, hopefully on Monday. If it's not 95, you guys, it's it's like I'm dying. I don't know if I'm red. I was just, I put some powder on. It is 95 degrees today, and it was like 93 yesterday here in Connecticut. And and I don't know if you guys are like this, but my husband were like, we're gonna, we're like, we're gonna fight putting the AC on. And I have to tell you, I grew up with no AC in humid Connecticut and I hated it because I don't like the heat at all. I never have. The only place I ever liked it, Shannon, because I know you're out on the West Coast, was in California because it's kind of like the Mediterranean where it gets hot, but we were right in Marin, so right along the Pacific. So it would get hot, but it would be, there would be no humidity. And, and here we've got the humidity. It's like being down in Florida, which I don't know how people do it because it's so, yeah, that's hot. It You do too. Shannon, Shannon's saying she hates it. She hates heat. Um, yeah, it's, it's brutal. And I had my grandson all day yesterday. He was so sweet. And um, even he got hot. He's like, Gigi, we have to go in. I'm really hot. And we were out in the shade. And of course, there's not a lot of shade yet because there's no leaves on the trees. So, it's definitely, I'm just hoping, I think this weekend it's going to rain. We've also had brush fires um, in Connecticut. Like acres of land has burnt. And we're surrounded by uh, woods. So I'm always, I'm like out there scanning to see if I see any smoke. <laughs> yeah, you can't escape, right? That's it. Shannon, that's exactly it. Every summer when this heat comes, um, here, I didn't get the experience in California, but I get this really claustrophobic feeling. I think it's the humidity. Since I was a little kid, it's just like, I feel like, oh, like today I was in our garage doing orders earlier and it was nice and cool in the garage. And I told my husband, I'm going to get a chair and take my coffee out here and just sit in the garage. And I, I know you guys have heard me say this before, but I'm half Italian, I'm half Sicilian. And in Connecticut, if you go through like a, an Italian neighborhood, you'll see like the grandma and grandpa, they sit 
in a chair in the garage all day. And my mother did that. She, I remember when she started doing it in her 60s. And I'm like, Ma, you're getting old. You're sitting out in the garage. She goes, it's so nice. It's cool. And I can watch everything. <laughs> Julie's saying, I'm a California girl and now live in the East Coast. And I can't stand the humidity. Right, Julie? We switched to uh, we switched our air conditioning on Wednesday. Wait, Julie, where are you? What state are you in? Oh, my son is on. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, Chris, my son is vivid volpe. I was leaving Stop and Shop and I noticed a brush fire. <gasps> oh, by a cigarette, cigarette chimney smoking spot. Yeah, that's what's happening. You went it back in and told the manager. <gasps> and she said it was the fourth, fourth time this week. Chris, is that down... Was, oh, it's Stop and Shop. Was that in Middletown? See, this is what's happening. People are smoking. They're throwing their cigarettes, right? And then this happens. Oh, oh, Julie, you're in Rochester. Yeah, and everybody thinks that's upstate New York. They think it's going to be nice and cool. No, we get it. We get the humidity. Hello, Jane's son. <laughs> oh, Chris, say hi to, to Shannon. Um, yes, my, my son... He inherited my, you know, we see it. If we see something, we say something, right, Chris? Um, but for sure. The thing is, the trees, like everywhere, right? They're so close to the house that you don't want your house to burn down. So we're being really careful, but it's going to rain this weekend. Rochester's beautiful, Julie. It's beautiful, though. I have to say, I love upstate New York. The one in Clinton on the mulch. The mulch is burning in <laughs> Clinton. Ah! Oh, well, Chris. Chris, do you love my uh, mushroom uh, kit? Aren't these adorable? I'm really excited. So, you guys, I just wanted to pop on. My grandson's coming over in a few minutes. Um, otherwise, I would have started painting this today. But, again, next week I'm going to paint these and maybe do some kind of decorative painting where we're doing a repeat pattern because they're just made for it. They're just so adorable. I'm I'm dying. I just think they're really, really cute. Oh, Shannon, thank you so much. Anybody? Uh, Shannon sprinkled, right? She scattered my video. If you know anybody who'd be interested, feel free to scatter it about and, uh, and spread the, the good word of the <laughs> mushroom kit, right? So you guys, I hope you have a very, very wonderful weekend. And I really hope you're able to carve out time and do something creative, do something fun, um, plan a project. You don't even need to start it, but you could sit maybe, get a sketchbook, use some copy paper, and start s sketching it out, you know? You don't have to do everything all at once. All right, I hear my grandson. They just drove up. So you guys, I will see you back here on Monday. Um, later on in the afternoon because remember the sun comes in and then we can't see what I'm doing. So I'll see you then. Happy painting everybody.